Seasons determine the life rhythm of nature. Everywhere on Earth, humans, plants, and animals have to adapt to seasonal changes. The study of the timing of recurring seasonal events, for example, when birds migrate south every year, or when flowers bloom, or leaves change their color, is called phenology. Phenology is very sensitive to changes in environmental conditions, and therefore can be used as a very good indicator of environmental change. But that's not all. The phenology of plants not only changes with climatic conditions, but also affects weather and climate, because plants absorb carbon dioxide and change the water composition of the atmosphere. One of the central questions in the context of climate change is whether and how phenology is changing at global scale. Using available records of ground observations, scientists have reported that spring in many species of animals and plants is occurring earlier in the year together with increasing temperatures. In my PhD research, I use satellite data to observe the seasonal changes of vegetation activity at global scale. In fact, the annual greening up and down of the Earth's vegetation is clearly visible from space. The seasonal rhythm is also called the breathing of the Earth. And it's because as plants green up and grow, they absorb CO2 and reduce the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. Our analysis of a satellite record that starts in the early 1980s has revealed that the average global growing season is longer now than it was three decades ago. For each grid cell of the world, we examined the time series of vegetation index data, and we could extract indicators for the timing of spring and autumn. Doing this over the entire satellite record, so for each year since the 1980s, we could build a global data set of growing season length. And by analyzing this data set, we found shifts in both the timing of spring and the timing of autumn in many areas of the world. Significant changes in growing season length are frequent in the boreal vegetation of the Northern Hemisphere. In these areas, temperatures have been increasing faster than the global average, and this increase is expected to continue according to climate models. These relatively cold areas are known to be particularly vulnerable to a warming climate, so considerable changes are expected in these ecosystems. Thanks to the analysis of satellite records, we have access to new and global data on vegetation phenology. This research is an important basis to predict climate change consequences for us and other species.